Can your guy make uh, two copies of this? I made a list of who in Tehran could order a strike on a British vessel and who seemed pissed off we took their tanker. I think they were all pissed off. Piss off. If someone or something pisses you off, they annoy you. He never helps with the housework and it's starting to piss me off. If someone tells a person to piss off, they are telling the person in a rude way to go away. Why don't you just piss off? You've caused enough problems already. Yeah, but some of them tweeted about it and not who you'd expect. Philly? We gotta go. I guess you can share one. This is Catherine Weiler. She was our number two in Beirut in Islamabad. When we seized the tanker last week, the Iranian regime signaled its outrage in a couple of unusual ways. Signal. If someone or something signals an event, they suggest that the event is happening or likely to happen. Britain was signaling its readiness to have the embargo lifted. Outrage. A feeling of anger and shock. These murders have provoked outrage across the country. What is she doing? She knows a lot about Iran. I didn't get into what we wanted to discuss. Get into is a phrasal verb. In this context, it means to start discussing or addressing a particular topic or subject. This would be easier if you each had your own copy. Have a seat. We don't have anyone in London right now. Mm -hmm. A bad time not to have anyone in London. Right. Twenty-five of their sailors get killed because Iran wants to send me a message. We don't know it was Iran. Whoever it was, we need someone substantial to be the ambassador in London. Substantial. Large in size, value, or importance. He took a substantial amount of money. He'll be great. He's a great choice. I'm sorry. Hal, and you didn't have to ask me. We've worked in different countries before. We're not talking about Hal. You're experienced. You'd signal we're taking this extremely seriously. You'd be at every funeral, every memorial. Memorial. A ceremony to remember someone who has died, which usually takes place after they have been buried or burned. Thousands of people attended a memorial to victims of Monday's shooting. All right, I'm going to Kabul. We'll take care of that. They they'll love Hal in London. He's good at all it's that. It's not going to be Hal. Why not? Because he called the Secretary of State a war criminal. Criminal. When used as a noun, it means someone who commits a crime. It can also be used as an adjective means relating to crime, or very bad, morally wrong. A criminal investigation. The way we waste this planet's resources is criminal. I promised I wouldn't send him anywhere ever again. I realize London has a ceremonial component to it, and you were ready to do more substantive work in Kabul. Substantive having real importance or value. Substantive talks on the subject need to be carried out. I'm hoping to save a shred of what we spent 2,400 American lives building. Shred. A very small amount of something. There isn't a shred of evidence to support her accusation. It feels substantive. Billy. I'm just saying it's hard to imagine. She can't imagine it. The president is asking you to serve as ambassador to the United Kingdom. Ambassador. An official who represents his or her own country in a foreign country. We have a plane waiting. We'd like you to get on it. It is an honor and a privilege. That's more like it. That's more like it. If you say that's more like it, 
You mean that the thing that you are referring to is more satisfactory than it was on earlier occasions? This idiom is used to show that you think something or someone has improved. Two boobs, check me! Diaper is on! The face, no winner! Check it again, woman. I mean, uh, I mean, yay! Great job! Uh, Goldie, you win! Yay! All right, all right! Woo! That's more like... Yeah. Oh, no! What's... It's exactly what they want to hear. They've been hosting garden parties for 50 years. The president's asking you to take it a notch. Take it up a notch is an idiomatic expression that means to increase the intensity, level of effort, or degree of something, usually in a positive or impressive way. It suggests pushing oneself or something to a higher level, going beyond the current state or performance. Mm -hmm. You said he picked you because you were experienced. Yeah, he wants an experienced person to show up and look sad. You're such a fucking snot. Snot is mucus produced in the nose. It can also refer to a person who is rude and thinks that they are better than other people. An argument between Billy and the president about whether my mission was to look guilty or just sad. People died. Showing up matters. I am an emotional support dog. It was probably a wrong. Please, they're broke. They don't want to bomb somebody for taking their oil. They just want the oil back. So who? Russia, China, ISIS. Russia's not going to torpedo a British aircraft carrier. Torpedo is a long, thin bomb that travels underwater in order to destroy the ship at which it is aimed. It also can be used as a verb, means to hit something with a torpedo. Because they're busy. It takes the focus off Eastern Europe, gets the president bogged down. Bog refers to a wetland area characterized by soft, muddy ground, often with waterlogged soil. When something bogs down, it metaphorically suggests that progress or movement is impeded, similar to how one might get stuck or slowed down in a bog. The talks have bogged down over the key issues. In the Middle East makes him look like a fucking asshole. It's a British trust. You don't want to consider the possibility it was attacked because someone doesn't like the British. My hands are swelling. This is not good. Well, whoever it was, the Gulf is on fire. The president is sending you to stop a war before it starts, not butter a crumpet. In this context, to stop the war represents the important and serious task that she has been sent by the president to accomplish. It implies that her purpose or mission is to work towards ending the conflict and promoting peace. On the other hand, butter the crumpet is a metaphorical phrase that signifies a trivial or insignificant action. Can your guy make uh, two copies of this? I made a list of who in Tehran could order a strike on a British vessel and who seemed pissed off we took their tanker. I think they were all pissed off. Yeah, but some of them tweeted about it and not who you'd expect. Billy! We gotta go. I guess you can share one. This is Catherine Weiler. She was our number two in Beirut in Islamabad. When we seized the tanker last week, the Iranian regime signaled its outrage in a couple of unusual ways. <sighs> what is she doing? She knows a lot about Iran. I didn't get into what we wanted to discuss. This would be easier if you each had your own copy. Have a seat. Okay. We don't have anyone in London right now. Mm -hmm. A bad time not to have anyone in London. Right. Twenty-five of their sailors get killed because Iran wants to send me a message. We don't know it was Iran. Whoever it was, we need someone substantial to be the ambassador in London. He'll be great. He's a great choice. I'm sorry? Hal, and you didn't have to ask me. We've worked in different countries before. We're not talking about Hal. You're experienced. You'd signal we're taking this extremely seriously. 
You'd be at every funeral, every memorial. Sorry, I'm going to Kabul. We'll take care of that. Th they'll love Hal in London. He's good at all it's that. It's not gonna be Hal. Why not? Because he called the Secretary of State a war criminal. I promised I wouldn't send him anywhere ever again. I realize London has a ceremonial component to it and you were ready to do more substantive work in Kabul. I'm hoping to save a shred of what we spent 2,400 American lives building. It feels substantive. Billy. I'm just saying it's hard to imagine. She can't imagine it. The president is asking you to serve as ambassador to the United Kingdom. We have a plane waiting. We'd like you to get on it. It is an honor and a privilege. That's more like it. It's exactly what they want to hear. They've been hosting garden parties for 50 years. The president's asking you to take it up a notch. Mm -hmm. You said he picked you because you were experienced. Yeah, he wants an experienced person to show up and look sad. You're such a fucking snob. There was an argument between Billy and the president about whether my mission was to look guilty or just sad. People died. Showing up matters. I am an emotional support dog. It was probably a wrong. Please, they're broke. They don't want to bomb somebody for taking their oil. They just want the oil back. So who? Russia, China, ISIS. Russia's not going to torpedo a British aircraft carrier. Why not? Because they're busy. It takes the focus off Eastern Europe, gets the president bogged down in the Middle East, makes him look like a fucking asshole. It's a British trust. You don't want to consider the possibility of his attack as someone doesn't like the British. My hands are swelling. This is not good. Well, whoever it was, the Gulf is on fire. The president is sending you to stop a war before it starts, not butter a crumpet.